A question to your vlog. Why a van and not a dormobile, a small caravan, small camper, something a bit more custom built for living in? Lovely question. I don't necessarily think that any of those other choices would be more suitable for living in. I mean, some of them might be. Oh, did I really say that? No! What I've discovered is that when someone who lives in a house and hasn't lived in a van imagines living in a van, they imagine it just to be a smaller version of a house with everything that you have, like in miniature, like, you know, a stove, maybe a microwave, a fridge, you know, all these um, normal house things. Actually, when you move into a really small space, it becomes much more about like prioritising and finding what is more hassle than it's worth. For example, I think my van is about 44 square foot. If you have something that's that size, you do not go to the toilet in it. Even if you have a toilet in it, try and go to the toilet not in it. It's a lot easier not to have a fridge, the hassle of trying to power a small fridge, as opposed to just going to the supermarket more often and um, buying things that are going to be perishable on the day that you want to cook them. That kind of stuff. So the priority is bed, storage space, cooking hob, um, and leisure battery power for my laptop and my phone so that I can work. Those are the main things. I've also got a little light, but even that is just, um, you know, a luxury. I'd be happy to use like candles for lighting. And sometimes I do to conserve power on the leisure battery. It's funny the phrase of the question, something a bit more custom built for living in. Well, that's exactly it for me, really. With this vehicle, which turns out just to be the one that I ended up buying because it came up at the right time and I had the cash for it, I'm custom building what I can inside it. And so this is, in a way, the vehicle that's most custom built for living. I have had larger vehicles and it would be better to have a bigger one that I could stand up in, uh, in a way. But also those bigger vehicles are more visible, they're more difficult to park. So there's upsides and downsides. This is the vehicle I've got and in actual fact, it is becoming very custom built for living in as I'm custom building it.